Hey Jeff, it's Greg Rand from Renders Warehouse. How are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, what's on your mind? You're talking Florida, right? Uh, well, best market's in Florida. I live in Denver, uh, Colorado area too, so if you could run through kind of Denver, Colorado, maybe Fort Collins, Colorado Springs, and then what you think best place is in Florida. What county is, uh, is Fort Collins in? Uh, Rada. That's a good question. Okay. Uh, Larimer, I think. Um, let me just put in Denver County first. So let me just talk about that first, because I, I like the fact, I appreciate you calling and, and asking about two different places, because one of the things about um, Denver that is unmistakable is that it's one of the best places in the country to own real estate, but it might not be the greatest place in the country to buy real estate today if you're trying to get a market that popped, because it just has, right? Um, and yeah, it, just, it doesn't have no stop. It's yeah. Going, I keep on thinking that every year, and it keeps on going up 7 yeah. 10%. Yeah, and so you, how long have you been there? Uh, I've lived here for about four years. I've owned property in the area for about nine. And how, what, what, what brought you out to move there? Uh, my job. Your job, okay. Yeah, so <clears throat> this chart is now showing you a, an unmistakable growth curve where the, one of the things about this chart that we're making a modification is that because of the scaling of the lines, uh, like the blue line, which is the housing boom and housing bust, you barely even register it because of the scaling of how hard Colorado and Denver have taken off. And so just contrast how the country, the state, and the, and the county kind of track together. And then right around 2011 and 12, Denver took off. Um, and it took off largely because of inbound jobs like yours um, or people coming in for work and lifestyle. You know, I think a lot of people want to want to overcomplicate stuff. Florida and Denver have some things in common. People leave the Northeast, the Upper Midwest, to go to these places because people are surprised to learn that the, the, the snow in Denver isn't that frequent. Denver's climate is actually pretty mild. You go two and a half hours into the mountains and you're in world-class skiing. And so it's one of those places that's like God's gift to people who are outdoors people. Um, but now you've got the cannabis industry which you talk about a lot here, the idea that a major industry has set up shop because Denver, or Colorado in general, was uh, incredibly hospitable to it. And I know people sometimes say, well, I don't think cannabis legalization is good for the country. I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying it's good for Colorado, that they embraced a major new industry. Um, like, do you have friends and, 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 and acquaintances there that work in that industry? Uh, I have some. I mean, you also, one thing I see a lot of, too, is a lot of tech jobs coming here, too. Right. So Google and all those different places, because of the lifestyle and what everything is here between the breweries and what Colorado gives you, um, seeing a lot of tech jobs, too. Fort Collins is cranking pretty well, too. Or Larimer County is cranking pretty well. So it's, it's tracked right along with the state of Colorado. It's outperforming the rest of the country. Um, uh, Colorado Springs is, is, has not really popped yet as much as Fort Collins and certainly Denver. And so one of the things that when somebody asked me about Denver, I think buy right in the middle of it, buy the best stuff you can. But if they say, but Greg, I wanna get a better return, I wanna get something that is kind of about to happen. We've seen a lot of examples of markets that have very similar fundamentals, but one of them is just further ahead than the other. And so you can kind of read the tea leaves on, is what's happening in Colorado Springs similar to what's been happening in Denver. In a lot of ways, yes, right? The geography is a one, one hour drive. Um, is the appeal similar? Yes. Um, are the tech jobs that are coming into Denver, are they likely to start moving further out of the city to get lower rents for the office space? And is that gonna make its way to where, you know, a company moves south of, of Denver, and so therefore the employees can live a little further south, or maybe it's west, but they move halfway out, right? That's that two-step thing of, people getting out of a major metro to get cheaper rent, and therefore making another market commutable. Um, you know, a 30 minute commute from Colorado Springs is not too bad. And so I think Colorado Springs is actually a great way to play Denver, but to play Denver like it was 10 years ago. All right, so that's my play on Colorado. It's pretty straightforward. It's an awesome high quality market, um, and it's showed a lot of resilience, and you can go a little bit further away, get the same fundamentals, but get a little, you know, kind of take your time machine back a little bit and then catch the wave that's coming to the next place outside.